Well, the eyes of the world are focused on Ukraine and its people battling Russian forces. So what can we do for those in Ukraine to help the refugees and also help us have a sense of agency? Our happiness expert, psychologist Christine Whalen, shares with us how to deal with the challenge of happiness when the world just seems out of control. Hi, Christine. Hi there. Good to be here. So this is really, I mean, people want to help, right? It's, but what, what is it that we can do that actually gives us that sense that we did something? Right, so in times of trouble, um, we are pro-social creatures. We want to help. We want to be compassionate and do good for others. Um, now, now, right now, though, we are saying, well, what can we do to help? And there are fabulous aid organizations that are pouring money into uh, the surrounding countries um, in Europe, around Ukraine, uh, to help refugees, trying to get money into some Ukrainian cities themselves. But sending a check doesn't have the same kind of emotional residence for most of us as, um, say, putting together a care package or writing letters or even going out on the streets in protest. So people are feeling a little bit of, um, I don't know, a, a sort of frustration. We want to do something, but the thing that we are actually uh, being called to do isn't giving us the same sort of reciprocal benefit that um, that we're hoping for. So my, um, my the first thing that I will will say is that the people of Ukraine and all of the countries that are, are helping them uh, on the ground there very much do need our charitable donations. So um, anything that we can do to, to keep the, the, the philanthropy flowing in that direction um, is really good, knowing that um, we might need to sort of have our own celebration for what we've just done um, rather than expect the aid organization to give us any warm fuzzies themselves. Mm -hmm. so, so doing something would ease our helplessness. Yeah, so doing, so when, um, when we're faced with a situation where we don't know what to do, two options, right? We can turn inward. We can just shut down and say the, the world is on fire and I'm going to just try to fix myself. And that's what a lot of people are doing um, and have done historically. The other option is to try to help. And um, and it tends to be that the people who are the helpers have less uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, tend to fare better, um, and also have can actually boost their own happiness by helping those in need. And the way we're called to do it right now is mostly financial, but but there is a wonderful program being run by my kids' school, Madison Country Day School, where this week you can drop off uh, dried goods and um, and medical supplies and um, and basic stuff that we're going to try to bring over to uh, to the refugees. How what do you how do you train your brain if there's somebody who's so used to actually being the, the doers, right? But they're like, you just want me to write a check. And yeah. it's such, so, so different, right? Like, how do you switch that thinking and how do you train your brain to be like, it's okay? <laughs> So I think there are things that we can do, um, but we may need to realize more that we're doing them for ourselves um, rather uh, rather than um, than having an impact um, on the people of Ukraine right at this moment. So certainly we can make public statements of support, and that's that's really good, um, and and does have benefit. But when we send money, when we gather supplies, when we do the things that we are being asked to do, uh, then we um, then we can say to ourselves, you know what, this is pro social behavior this is good that I am doing it we can talk to our friends about it and come together and support each other and every time we pass one of those uh, gas stations with the increasingly high gas prices I have been taking a moment to say you know we are trying to do this for for freedom and do this for the people of Ukraine and that makes me feel a little better any anything will help at this mm -hmm. point Christine Just get out there yeah Christine good advice as always thanks for being with us